You know, holidays are special, and it's your memories that make them that way. For some, it's the Christmas tree, or family, or maybe giving gifts. For me, though, it's all about eggnog. A thick cup of fat and sugar and cholesterol wrapped up in the most delicious substance on the planet. What I wouldn't give to have eggnog available all year round. Wait a minute. Can you freeze dry eggnog? Well, let's start out with a gallon of the best nog available. Ouch, that was spendy. This better work. While our harvest ride is chilling for 15 minutes, let's weigh this out so we know how to rehydrate it. Four cups is an even kilogram. Easy to remember. Now let's add a quart to each tray and get going. 28 hours seems short for such an amazing opportunity as year-round eggnog. I'm not even sure this is gonna make it to the bags before it's all gone. Hey, that was for testing. Well, I'm testing it all right. Ooh. Tray weighed 300 grams post freeze dry, so we just need to add 700 grams of water, which is three cups. Let's scrape it off, crush it up, and chuck it in a bag. Now I read someplace if you rehydrate this with milk, it's even better. Challenge accepted. Let's do 30 grams of the eggnog powder to 70 grams of water. The perfect amount, 31 grams. Dawns on me, there's no way these are gonna rehydrate in these little glasses. One with milk, one with water, and then we'll pour us a nice fresh one and give them a sample. Blend that back into some beautiful eggnog. Ooh, it's thick. Okay, so we're gonna throw these in the refrigerator so they're the same temperature, and then give them a whirl in front of the fireplace. Sample which of these we like the best. Tell you, we got three different samplings of eggnog here. We have one that's rehydrated with water, one that's rehydrated with milk, and one that's fresh from the store. Honestly, in appearance and looking at them, I can't tell the difference in any of them. Neither can I. They're the same color. I really can't. Ooh, that was loud. This one's noticeably thicker, but not a ton. Why don't we start with the inside here? I will too. Cheers. Cheers. Oh God, it's good, because it's eggnog. Okay, I want to chug the whole thing. Consistency, smooth, creamy, good eggnog. It is very creamy and very good eggnog. Well, oh, it's a store-bought. Oh. Yep, it tastes, obviously, like it came straight from the store because it did. I don't know. So let's do the middle one here. All right, let's try it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This one I noticed, it's a little thinner. It's got a tiny bit different flavor, but it's not bad. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. It tastes a little thinner, so it's not as thick. This one is? The water. The water, yep, a little thinner. And I can see it's got a little bit of milk fat clumps, but of course, so it's eggnog. And the outside one? All right. Cheers. It tastes like whipped cream. It does taste like whipped cream, doesn't it? This must be the milk one. It's lighter and fluffier. But the whole texture's a little different. Exactly. Honestly, in summary, I don't think you'd really notice a difference, especially in the middle of the year, um, that you'd still really enjoy these, these different eggnogs. And of course, you could rehydrate them, mix them in with your coffee, um, or just Ooh. chug them like I'm gonna do. You could put this in coffee? Oh, summary of eggnog, an absolute win. Ooh, I think that yeah. it's a great use for our freeze dryer. It's just before Christmas, so I think we'll go buy like 20 gallons of eggnog and freeze dry it. Next time you see me, I'll be 400 pounds. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this content, like and subscribe, and we'll just keep them coming. Bam.